Hey Shane. Alright. Yeah? Got a busy day today. I've got my TV show. It's going to be broadcast live in front of the whole of uni. Yeah, well I hope you don't make a complete idiot of yourself in front of everyone. Are you annoyed with me? What gave you that impression? Is this about the election? The election? Why would I be annoyed about the election? The fact that you jacked in our chance of winning and picking up countless chicks. That's not annoying. Come on, mate. You know I had to do it. Hey, listen, right? My tutor used a contact, managed to wangle a special guest appearance from the Pussycat Dolls. The only problem is, is that agent was supposed to call like three days ago. Oh, really? Shane, why have you got that guilty look on your face? No, I, I, I think I may have taken a message. What? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure I wrote them down though, somewhere. Them? Yeah. Ah. Pussycat's agent called, please call back. Pussycat's agent call back urgently. Oi. Pussycat's appearance cancelled, never call again. Shame! How could you not show me these messages? Yeah, but I, I didn't realise they were about the pussycat dolls. I just thought they were about actual pussycats. Oh, well, this is great. Because now I've got a show to do without a special guest. Look. Maybe I can help you out. How? Put Tony in your show. Who's Tony? You know, my mate, Tony. He's hilarious. He calls himself the one-stop entertainment shop. Trust me, man, you will not be disappointed, okay? Who else are you gonna get in? Well, I've asked Fred to do some music, and Scarlett's gonna do a politics interview. Wow, that sounds like a really good laugh. Do you think we'll be able to handle that much entertainment, Danny? You know, not to mention your old mate whose election victory you threw down the drain. All right, fine, he can do a very, very short set. Brilliant! Oh, Tony is gonna go nuts when I tell him. Where's my phone? Uh, ah. What's this? It's this uh, picture message that's going around at the moment. Apparently it's some mystery girl on campus. Everyone's talking about it, but trust me, when I find out who this is, I'm gonna make her mine. <laughs> my name is Danny Gordon, and welcome to... Ah. <clears throat> Hi, we Andy. So, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? Huh? That's what couples do, isn't it? Have dinner together. Couples? Yeah. Tell you what, I'll cook us something nice. We'll have dinner in just the two of us. Depression, suffering, and death. Right, time's up. Oh, but Fred... What did I say about complaining? Off you go. Send in the next two. Hey, Fred. Um, I was just checking that you're still OK to do the TV show today. Yeah, all right. No paparazzi, though. Oh. Sure. Thanks, man. Oh, hey, Scarlett, I was going to ask... Oh, are you, are you OK? Have you been crying? Don't worry about it. But I might be able to help you. Look, it's just I did something really stupid. What was it? Well, I was on a night out with the girls and we were having a bit of a wild one and we were all taking photos and... I kind of flashed my bra to the camera. It was just a silly moment, but my friend uploaded the pictures by mistake and now they're on the internet and the student network. That was you? What? You know about it as well? Yeah. Shane had a photo on his phone that he called the mystery bra girl. Mystery bra girl. But don't worry. No one will know it's you. I mean, your face isn't in the shot. It's just your... Oh, my God. This is going to be so humiliating. I'm so stupid. No, you're, you're not stupid at all. Look, it might seem like a massive deal now, but it will blow over. And things like this always do. <sighs> Thanks, Danny. You know, it's kind of good having you around.
Do you fancy going on a date? You know, during the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Uh, do me one favour. Sure. Don't tell Shane. You know what he's like. If he finds out, then he just won't shut up about it. Absolutely. And especially don't tell him about me being mystery bra girl. Don't worry. Your dirty secret's safe with me. Oh my god! Where, where did you spring from? Scarlet's the mystery bra girl! You weren't meant to hear that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Shane, calm down. Look, this is a secret, okay? Promise me you'll never mention this to anyone. But this is huge, man! This is the biggest news I've ever heard! Yeah, well, you're gonna have to keep it to yourself, alright? It's top secret, and I'm not talking about that sort of secret where you tell other people and then tell them to keep it a secret. Do you understand? <sighs> yeah, alright. Dan, have you heard about this mystery bra girl? Um, yeah, I think I've uh, heard something or other. What about you, Shane? What? Mystery bra girl? <laughs> Who, what's that? I don't even know what that is, so what do those words even mean? So, Fred, what are you going to do in the holidays? Kate Moss has asked me to crash at her pad for a while, so I'm going to hang around with her and her model friends for a bit. Shane, what about you? Have you got any plans? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, me and my dad are just gonna, like, spend the Christmas, just the two of us, you know, in a uh, farmhouse in the Cotswolds. We're just gonna, like, wear woolly jumpers and then, um, kill ducks and, and, and pheasants and stuff. Well, that sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, no, it'd be wicked. My, my dad's such a laugh. Open up, police! What? Oh, no. Uh, just... T uh, tell him I'm not here, all right? Hello? Open the door before we break it down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so sorry, mate. I could not resist it. That was brilliant. You should have seen your face. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, is that you, you maniac? Show <laughs> 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 uh, this is Danny, he's the guy doing the show. Is Danny the guy with the show? <laughs> Danny is the guy with the show. Oh! See, did I tell you he's talented? He could just make stuff up like that. Yeah, that was really impressive. Oh, you, you ain't seen nothing yet. Do your Richard Hunt impression. Richard Hunt. Richard Hunt! Hello, yeah. oh, I'm Richard Hunt. Oh, look at me beard! Oh, where's my, where's my beard? <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's Richard Hunt? Oh, he's the guy that works at the bar at the Union. He sounds just like that. <laughs> <clears throat> do you do anyone famous? Or? No. Yeah? What's the matter with this guy? He looks like he's been slapped in the face with a wet dishcloth, eh? <laughs> uh, this is Fred. Fred, what, like Freddy the Frog? Ribbit! <laughs> Cheer up, mate, you're like a gargoyle, aren't you, eh? Look. <laughs> no, 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 Fred never laughs. Well, that's because he's never met Tony Stantoni. <laughs> Frederick. <laughs> huh? <laughs> There, you are cracking up in the end. Right, you better point me the way to your crapper train unless you want me to do a naughty on your living room carpet. No, don't! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just over there on the left. All right, mate, don't worry. I shouldn't be too long. I had a curry for breakfast. <laughs> hey! A curry breakfast. <laughs> Wicked. Oh. Oh, Tony. Well, what do you think? He's hilarious. 
got to go change for tonight. <laughs> Tony's pretty crazy, eh? He almost makes you look normal. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, he's brilliant. <laughs> Moose. <laughs> 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 what are you doing here? Your bed's so much comfier than mine. Uh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't know. You don't mind, do you? Um, well... By the way, I spoke to your mother earlier. You spoke to my mother? Mm -hmm. And we were talking about maybe going to a country cottage over the holidays. I think it'd be nice to get to know your parents. Why do you want to get to know my parents? If we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend, Danny, I think I'd better. I'm gonna go now. Um, if you could just... Let yourself out when you're done. Please. Everything all right, mate? Not really. I think that weird bloke thinks that me and her are having a relationship. What makes you think that? She's lying in my bed. Plus, she keeps making comments about us being boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh dear. And she called my mum. <gasps> That's not good. You know how picky your mum is about your girlfriends. Right, she is not my girlfriend. Well, maybe she should be, man, you know. I mean, I know she's an insane psychopath, but, I mean, it's not as if you have anything else on the horizon. Have you? No. You liar! You've got a date! No, I haven't! Yes, you have! You've gone on red and blotchy! Who is it? Tell me! Tell me! Oi! Tell me! Right. Tell me! It's Scarlet. No way! Yeah, we've arranged to meet up during the holidays. <laughs> you and... Mystery bra girl. Yeah, but you've got to keep it quiet. I promised her I wouldn't tell you. Is Tony ever going to come out of there? He's literally been in that toilet for about two hours. He'll be out in a minute. <sighs> All right, boys. Hi. Sorry I took so long. I had a bit of a blockage. Dad, to have a bit of a clear out. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. What time's the show tonight? <clears throat> Six o'clock. Lovely. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there. On for the show. <laughs> Ready to go? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, lady. The name's Tony. But you can call me Mr. Loverman. Wow. I never thought I'd meet someone who made Shane seem attractive. Thanks. Sorry, who is this horrific individual? This is my mate Tony. He's going to be on the show tonight. I didn't realise it was going to be a freak show. That's not a very nice thing to say about Fred. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get changed. Yeah, and I'm going to go and be sick. What's her beef? I can't tell anyone yet, but you know I was telling you about that mystery bra girl? Mm. That's her! Oh my lordy! Knew it. <laughs> right, Danny boy, let's go and make university TV history! <laughs> anyone ever told you you've got really soft cheeks like a baby's bum? Oh, by the way, you got any soap? I uh, couldn't find it in the toilet. Yeah, to get you some. Headphones. Hello. Are you the tech guy? No, I'm Gandalf the wizard. Of course I'm the tech guy! Oh, all right, come on through. Right, so do you guys have any idea what you're doing whatsoever? Yeah, well, I'm studying... Or not. Okay, this is a microphone. This is a camera. Now that sign, when it's on, it means that we're on air. And when it's off, it means that we're off air. So, on air, off air. Is that easy enough for you to understand? Yes. Good. I've got a question. Ah, oh, I thought you might. I just, uh... How far do you think I can ram this microphone down your throat? You're on in an hour. Um, <clears throat> Tony, could you just try and keep it cool, yeah? Let's go warm up, mate. It's exciting, isn't it? Got your own TV show. Shane, Tony seems really amped up. Is he usually like this? What do you mean, usually? Well, I mean the other times you've met him. You mean the other time? You've only met him once? Yeah. So you've invited him onto my show after meeting him once? He's just some random student. 
Um, no, no, Tony ain't a student. Who is he? Where did you find him? At the bus stop. He asked me for 50p. So, he's a beggar then? No, I wasn't really begging. More like mugging, if anything. This is my show, Shane. This is my end of year project for my coursework, and he is going to ruin it. Look, give the guy a break, all right? He's trying to turn his life around. And he's only just got out of the halfway house. Halfway house? Yeah, and uh, to be honest, I am slightly concerned about how he might react if I tell him he can't do the show. You know, he does seem slightly unhinged. <laughs> oh, my God, Shane. He's limbering up. What could he possibly be limbering up for? Do you even know what he's doing for his routine? At least go and tell him that he's going to have to keep it toned down. Absolutely. I I'm on it. No! Tony! Yeah, he said no. What do you mean he said no? All right, fine. I'll go and do it. How are you feeling? Fantastic! I'm psyched! I'm ready to tear this place apart! Yeah! <sighs> I was thinking, though, maybe you should just sort of keep the act toned down. <laughs> While we're on air. Tone it down! Yeah, like this. Uh, okay, I'm with you. I understand. No worries, eh? <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm Danny Gordon. You're watching Bankside TV. This is my new show. I'm going to introduce now some of my guests. I'm going to for what? Introducing the one, the only, Tony Stan Tony. Hello, everyone. I am your OSES, your one-stop entertainment shop, and I can sing, yeah, and I can dance, right, right, and dance, right, and I can tell jokes like, uh, what do you call the worst, most horriblest person you've ever met, mixed with Hannibal Lecter, my dad. What? What are you looking at? Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Fine! Okay! Fine! Hmm? Would you like me to take my clothes off and get naked? That's what you'd like, isn't it? Hmm? Shorty! Right! Naked Stantoni the Stallion! Send it! You're not going to do something about this. <laughs> Oi! Put your clothes back on, you lunatic! What? You're ruining the show! Danny! Uh, Tony, I think maybe you should head off now. What? I can't believe you're sticking up for Mystery Bra Girl! <laughs> yeah, that's right, everyone. On the show we have today, the one, the only, the fantastic Mystery Bra Girl! No, Scarlet, wait. Um, I'm sorry about the guitar, Fred. That's to be done. I'll come with you, mate. No, you won't. You've already ruined everything. Scarlet, wait. I need to talk to you. About what? How you completely betrayed my confidence? I can't believe I trusted you. It wasn't as bad as it seems. That's easy for you to say. Your bra hasn't been exposed to the whole uni. I thought you were different, Danny. Uh, but you're just as bad as Shane. No, that's not true. Scarlet. I've been looking for you everywhere, Danny. What kind of a boyfriend are you? I am not your boyfriend. I thought we had something good here, Danny. I thought we had a relationship. It requires two people to know that they're in a relationship for there to actually be a relationship. I like Scarlet. Can you... I'll have you one day. And now, uh, here's Fred with his new single, Life's Rubbish. You wake up in the morning and make a cup of tea. You pour in the milk and you get those horrible white bits floating on the top. It tastes weird. You don't know why, but it just does. The milk's probably up. Then you make some toast. The sums of the toast are on a low setting. Scarlet, I never told Jane. You've got to believe me. By the time you get back, the toast is burnt and you have to start all over again. But there's only the end crust left. Life's rubbish. I promise you, I wouldn't do that to you. I like you too much. And it might sound insane, but I think maybe you still like me too. You 
sit on the toilet. The only thing to read is an old Take a Break magazine. It's been there for months, so you've already read it 15 times. You read an article about some D-list celebrity skincare regime. Look, the truth is I've never messed up with a girl as much as I messed up with you. It's nice to know. But ever since the Freshers' Ball, when we, you know, kissed, I've regretted the way I've acted. This whole time, I've wanted a chance to make it up to you. Hi, guys, um, Danny, Scarlett, if you could hear me. Hey, I'm on TV. It's wicked, isn't it? Today on the news, a monkey for the... Um, so, uh, yeah, basically, if you can hear me, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry about everything. I'm an idiot. Uh, Danny, if, you know, I'm sorry for ruining your show. And Scarlett, I shouldn't have told Tony about you being Mr. Brarkel. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but, you know, the point is, uh, uh, Danny, you're my oldest mate. I'd do anything for you, man. If you were in trouble, I'd run to you. And I'd be there for you, okay? And Scarlett, you're feisty. And I thought you were a lesbian at first, and now I still think you might be, but it doesn't matter what we are. We're all human, and Fred, get in here. We just want to say that uh, I'm, I really hope I haven't done anything to ruin, you know, that date that you had planned over the holidays. Just realised I probably shouldn't have mentioned that in front of everyone, but that's... You can't not tell them anything, can you? Bye. You like... Joined at the hit. No, we're not. I'm finished with Shane. We're done. Please, Scarlett, say that we can still meet up. Look, I like you, Danny, but I've worked really hard to get to this university, and I'm not going to mess it up over some guy who's... Who's what? All over the place. Maybe it's better if we just stay friends. I'm sorry. Look, I'll I'll see you next term, okay? Yesterday. Oh, thanks. Honey bear! <laughs> oh, I missed you so much. Hi, Mum. <laughs> look like you lost weight. Have you lost weight? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. Look, can we just go? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Oh, does she not need a lift home? Oh, I don't know. And quite honestly, I don't care. Oh, that's a shame. He's your oldest friend. What happened? There's too much to tell you about in a two-hour car journey. Anyway, I think his dad's picking him up. Well, I thought I heard his dad was in France with his new wife. All right, Fred, you're off then, mate. Yeah, Kate Moss has sent me a limousine to take me down to the mansion. Oh, well, have a good time. Yeah, all right. We've come to collect Wendy. Who? Wendy. Weird bloke. Oh, so, sorry. No, I, I, I'll just go get her. One sec. Uh, weird bloke. Your, your parents are here. Parents. Hello, Wendy. Was 
What are you doing? Just scared the hell out of me, man. Where's your dad? Uh, yeah, no, he, he should be here any minute. I, I just spoke to him, he's stuck on the uh, A362. Oh, okay. One. My mum told me he's moved to France. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, no, he, he has sort of moved to France. Apparently he'd, he'd rather spend Christmas with his new family. I thought I'd just kick it around here. Do you mind if I join you? Huh? Why? Because I feel bad about you being left here on your own. I thought you were annoyed at me about ruining your chances with Scarlet and destroying your TV show. I am. I'm furious. But you're still my best mate. Shane, that's hurting a little bit. Sorry, mate. Oh, we're gonna have a great time, man. Just me and you, yeah? Oh, it's gonna be brilliant. You know, I, I really can't think of anywhere I'd rather be these holidays. Oh my God, everyone's coming back for me. No. Forgot my shades. Oh. You guys are probably not interested, but there's room at Kate's mansion if you want to come. Doors closed. Rubbish. Life's rubbish. Life's just rubbish. What's the point in anything?